What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. We are doing it. I am super excited. I've been getting mad anticipation, anxiety, stress, excitement. I don't know what all terms that can be said, but we are starting the, the final of the big three today. I've seen Naruto. I'm doing One Piece. We're finally doing Bleach. I, I, like I just said, I cannot tell you the amount of excitement I have, especially with all the, the hype I've gotten from the community about this. But before we get into anything, I do have a question over here on the Discord, the Q&A section. If you guys don't know, I have a Discord where you guys can ask me any question, and I'll try to answer that question before we get into the next reaction of that episode. This one comes from Layson, who is an avid question asker. Thank you so much for the question. Um, they say, now that you are starting Bleach, did you manage to avoid major spoilers regarding the story, or do you already know some key elements? I hope you'll enjoy this new show. Thank you so much for the question. I've been asked this multiple times in chat because we are live streaming this reaction on Twitch right now. Um... The only real spoiler that I know is that I've heard one of the villains, Aizen, say similar to like Madara in terms of Naruto, I've heard Aizen is one of the better anime villains in all of anime, which is super hype. And I, I know some character names. The only character names that I know besides Aizen are Ichigo, Rukia, Grimjow, uh, Chad, and Kempachi. Those are the names I know. In terms of actual plot points, story lines, what happens, um, I know absolutely nothing. I'm going into this completely blind, which is a huge shocker because I do know some One Piece spoilers and other spoilers. But when it comes to Bleach, I, I know nothing and I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much for the question, Layson. Now, also, I'm sure some of you guys don't know, um, usually with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version is available for free for you guys. But with longer running shows, especially older shows that were weekly and weren't really seasonal. Um, I'm going to try to do the openings. So this episode, this session should be for free in the top of the link in the description. So go on, check that free full length, uh, come back here for the review. And if you guys enjoy that, consider checking out that Patreon where you guys can keep the full length and up to 12 or 16 episodes early access. So it should be a good time. And like I said earlier, we are live on Twitch watching this. It is always a vibe. Chad has been super vibey, super chill today. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm super excited. I don't even know what episode is one called. Let's get right into Bleach. I won't lie, I do miss that old Viz Media intro, especially when watching Naruto and stuff like that. This is my first time watching this opening. Let's get into it. Just based off looks right now, feels like I'm watching Death Note and we're in like the Shinigami realm. I do know that's Rukia. I'm excited. Leech episode one. Interesting intro sequence. This is the introduction to our main character. Literally kicking him into the in concrete. I assume some broken flowers. Flowers for the kid who died here the other day. I assume these assholes knocked it down. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I do like that Ichigo off rip stands on business. He really does not care. Especially for something about flowers over a dead kid, you know? That's completely understandable. Is this real? You can actually see the spirit of this dead child? You needed to not be disturbed to be able to rest. Ichigo, 10th grader, 15. Ichigo Kurosaki. Family runs a medical clinic. I like it so far. Let's go back to the seeing spirits thing. Ever since I can remember, I've been able to see ghosts. Now I'm assuming that's his pops. Now I see where he gets his spunkiness from. What sort of father-son relationship? Yuzu. Harin and Yuzu. Another spirit? Another ghost? Bro, what is going on? 
So they can sense their presence, but only Ichigo can see them and interact with them. That's a little interesting. So Yuzu can sense them, Karin can see them with Ichigo, but their dad is the only one who can't. Oh, the arm bar? Oh, oh. Bro, what the hell is going on? Is that their mother? Memorial poster. Does she die? Honestly, if I was a normal 15-year-old 10th grader, already stressed out as it is, seeing ghosts would definitely make me more stressed. I can't blame my man Ichigo. Is he going to go do a little investigation? No. Just walking to school. I get it. With more flowers. Help some more souls move on. Oh, it's for the girl yesterday. Same child. He's noticing she's not here where she should be. Okay, I'm starting to like the aspects of the spirits and ghosts because not everyone can see them. Is that the little girl? I'm liking whatever this thing is designed right now. Ooh, the butterfly is Rukia. I, I thoroughly like that. And she's about her business too. No hesitation. Right across the face, right down the middle. Swordsmen are my favorite type of combat in anime, so I guess swordswoman. Swordsmen and woman. So to the average person, they're just seeing explosions and hearing loud noises. I love the concept of her being the butterfly, though. I love that. Just the way her kimono flows in the wind, you know? <laughs> he's not about that bullshit. I'm saying she's not even answering him. <laughs> even she can't be seen? So she just fully came in here detecting whatever energy is around as she said it's near. A soul reaper. Is Reaper in Japanese Shinigami? Because if so, that's fire. This is the thing she's detecting, I'm assuming. Especially because we're right next to his house. So we're dealing with demons. She's just not. He got the gist. Yeah, he doesn't believe that, <laughs> but you can see ghosts and interact with them. What do they think? She's just a ghost? Like, playing some sort of role? Akudo number one, Sai. Ooh. Forcibly made him restrain himself? Kido. Incantation. Ooh. Are we being serious? How old is she? Oh, is it the guy that was bothering him yesterday? Yeah. Interesting. There's a restful place. Oh, I like how she stamps him with like the hilt. He's probably grateful. I need to know more about so oh she he flies off like a butter. I'm really enjoying the artistic creativity right now. I need to know more about the soul society. Mm. 
to let these souls rest. Okay, two types of spirits called holes, normal spirits. I love the design. Make it very clear they're good guys. Hollows, holes and hollows. Interesting. Hey, I kind of like it. I like the drawing. <laughs> I have two jobs. It's to lead holes to the soul society and then probably to kill hollows. I'm starting to get the gist of this. The hollows can talk? I thought they were going to be like senseless monsters. Yeah, if something happens to the sisters, heck no. We are not going to be okay with that. Is Karin okay? Oh, heck no. Is this going to be the thing that drives Ichigo to start fighting? I still am so curious how he's going to get involved with this at all. Is... That's not the tasty soul. I was assuming when he said tasty soul, he was talking about Ichigo. This is his sister. Of course he's not going to stay back. Is he breaking out of her incantation? I like the subtleties of how Ichigo is different from your average human. Whether it's seeing... Whether it's hearing the cries beforehand, whether it's breaking out, like, you can tell he's already different. If you try to force it, your soul what? He's, you can physically see the incantation binding him being broken. Okay. So it was Ichigo that he was talking about. Good shit, Rukia. Save your girl. Heck yeah. And it just vanishes. Ichigo just happened to be there trying to protect her. It was after him. Now, in the normal anime, I would assume that his high concentration of spirit energy and his other senses would be due to some sort of familial bond. He's related to someone really strong, but we know his dad, theoretically, is like the weakest when it comes to spirit energy. He obviously takes that guilt right on. Typical main character. I'm loving it. He's going to do everything he can to protect them, get, a, get, get his body away from theirs. She cut his head off all oh okay. He went in the way and blocked that. Ooh, and she's oh my and she's taking some damage. Shout out her for doing that. I really enjoy this theme when it plays. Yeah, what can he do? Is it like a contract we have to enter into? Um, ma'am? No hesitation either when it comes to protecting his family. Rukia Kuchiki. This is a very interesting introduction. This is their first time giving each other their names. Ooh. Ooh, no hesitation in this fire ass outfit. His sword looks so gangster. I meant to give him half, but he took it all. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. People were saying the pacing, this pacing is fucking insanely fast. This is my first time hearing this song. Oh, this has got me goosed. This got me geeked already. 
right down the middle. So clean. And now you feel like number one. Ichigo Kurosaki, 15 years old. Orange hair, brown eyes, Soul Reaper. Don't tell me that's the first episode. That was a fire first episode. That was fire. All right, here we go. Episode two. That is dad. <laughs> You're pretty good, my boy. There's nothing more to teach you. He's your senpai. He's your sensei. Yeah, how are the sisters? Were they good after yesterday? So that's the story his dad is going with. Yeah, where's Rukia? They don't even remember what happened. I like that title card. Okay. This is the guy from the opening. Oh, this is Chad? Don't tell me that's Rukia. What the hell is going on? Hello, Rukia Kuchiki. And I've definitely heard the name Chad before. I wonder if she's undercover, disguised. She's a transfer student. Oh, this is interesting. Make a scene and you are so dead. That's kind of slick. Oh, she is, for some reason, undercover at our school. She's stuck here? I thought that was a temporary thing, and you'd get it back immediately after the fight. A temporary body. Interesting. How long until your powers return? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Normal humans can't see her, and they're all yeah, interacting with her. Oh. <laughs> what in the Gurren Lagan style glove? What the fuck? What the hell? Can she knock the Soul Reaper out of him? I love how he's instantly in his uh his outfit with his sword. And probably no one's gonna be able to see him now because he's in Soul Reaper mode. This is super interesting. We have to help them pass on and get rid of the demon attacking her. Bro, like I said, the pacing of the show is crazy. No hesitation. We're already back into another confrontation. Okay. I mean, you say that, but when we're in the middle of it, you know what I'm saying? I get what she's saying. This is a lesson he needs to learn. What? I, okay. That's, that's a fair point. That's a wild thing to say, but I get it. It's the job of a soul reaper. This is a crazy looking demon. Spider looking motherfucker. And he's not going to not help this boy. So he's officially locking himself in as a soul reaper. I won't lie though, he's so he's clean as hell with that sword and that outfit. He's the kind of he's the type of guy to go against the status quo, do whatever he feels like at the time. I kind of respect that about him. That's a fair rebuttal. You weren't thinking about the spirits you could have potentially saved, you know, when you put yourself at risk for a human. Didn't kill that thing. He's still there. I'm telling you. Like, just off main character swag levels, Ichigo's kind of different. He doesn't give a fuck what anyone thinks. He's going to do whatever he wants. And he's kind of he's kind of gangster. Hit him with the... I really am enjoying the concept of this show so far. With helping good whole spirits pass over and getting rid of the hollow demons that 
try to eat them and suck their energy. And I love the concept of them turning into a butterfly when they are passing over, you know. I don't know why I didn't watch this as a kid. Young me would have already been so hooked in. Now, from what I'm seeing, the boy had the same chain. Do all spirits, no matter, like, do all holes have a chain coming out of them like that? Are we going to get to see a hole get eaten? Oh, this is the fucking realm I was talking about, the Shinigami realm. So what happens when a Soul Reaper can't make it in time? I really like the animation choices, how they, like, turn into shadows, but also, like, fade away. Ooh. I don't know too much about this man's soul, but RIP, brother. When they eat your soul, you turn into a hollow? Oh, that makes sense. In the design of this realm, whatever we're in. Did that car just hit that lady? You know it keeps getting knocked down. Jesus, someone needs to arrest that driver. Yeah, we need to get its license plate number. A hit and run is horrible. He's very... Maybe it's just Ichigo because he has a scary looking face, but she's very timid, you know? Or a Hime Inu Inoue. Three years ago, her brother died at our hospital. Was that Inoue we were seeing in the window with her brother who got just eaten by those hollows? family it was a car accident oh that's sad now i kind of want to go back five minutes and see if that was in a way in the window i don't know if it was though that's sad i have to assume that's her brother who wasn't able to pass on and just got fucking turned into a hollow that's sad yeah where is her temporary home yeah you're a little old for him you know what i'm saying She's like, join the Soul Reapers, and then you can see my house. Tatsuki is uh, Ichigo's friend. Lives in the neighborhood that's friends with her. So she really is alone without her brother. That's super sad, man. I don't know why they decided to focus on that bear. If that motherfucker starts moving and looking at her, I'm out of here. She probably needs some clothes. That's your house? You're staying in his closet? She forced. Oh! Shit, like I said, bro, the pacing in the show is insane. It's brother. Anyway's brother. And he's huge. Ooh, I love that this sword is so big it just slashes through the ceiling. Just from pulling it out. This thing is strong, strong. And he's gonna see. I didn't know they still had their human face under their hollow face or their hollow mask but he's going to see that that's anyway's brother okay so we went back to the shinigami realm this is what i call it i'm sure i'll get the official name for it soon and then there he recharges his energy whatever he injuries he was dealt he looks low-key powerful as fuck. All hollows. Damn, I didn't realize that. I like the song that's playing right now. 
Once they're beyond a certain point, yeah, you do need to kill it, you know, but it's going to be very hard knowing its emotional attachment to this world, you know. Maybe it's not that he has a scary face. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe she has a little crush on my man Ichigo. I wonder if once you become a hollow, is there any essence of you still there? Like, would he attack and eat his sister and turn her into a hollow? Is that his goal right now? This is gonna be oh that was the end of the second episode okay okay we're getting in there all right this is episode uh three okay so someone even higher up than Inui's brother and it controls several hollows is looking for some concentrated ichigo pause yeah that's a, that's a rough situation that's also a fair point. You are technically putting them out of their misery, you know? He's probably going right after Inui. He's gonna go to where he knows and feels comfortable. The one he loved most. Was that from Inui's brother? A car accident? Would, mm, that would make sense. I like how we have to carry Ruki on our back. Because we have the power right now. If anything, I hope... Her name is Totsuki, and then... Anyway, I hope they are okay. I hope no souls get consumed here. The fuck is that blood? Oh, hell no. Oh, it was more of a metaphysical thing than actually. I thought it literally went through her chest and fucking ripped out her heart. It is crazy how they can't even see it like that. How do you defend against, I mean, in any way possible against something you can't see like this? You can somewhat detect his presence now that he's fucking endlessly beating on her. Bro, what the fuck? This is kind of getting dark. Chain. Chain represents their soul or their spirit, right? Is that what he did when he went through her chest and knocked her soul out? He's gonna go to try to help Totsuki. Good. Good job. I mean, doing whatever you can. But she can't see anyway right now because she's in soul mode. That is kind of crazy. Because I'm your big brother. I'm gonna start calling her Orihime. I think that's an easier name to say. This is creepy. Ichigo here to save the day, hopefully. And I like this concept of not being able to see the Soul Reapers and the Hollows themselves because it leaves you a certain humbleness, you know? Like, Tatsuki's gonna be saved, but she's not gonna know it's Ichigo that saved her. Obviously, or Hime is gonna know, but... Don't tell me he actually killed her. I thought he just, like, slightly disconnected her spirit for a second. I like the concept of the chain, though, being your connection to your body. And all the other spirits we've seen that need to pass on, their chain is broken, just dangling. Because they don't have their body, they're dead. That must be horrible, seeing your brother who you were mourning and have grieved for come back as whatever this is. Kill him without fail. That is sad to say, but I'm on Ruki's side right now. Right, 
right? That is the natural process of death, you know. As time moves on, so do you, you know. It was your prayers that gave me peace. So as she slowly, slowly stopped. That's an interesting concept. He wasn't able to find peace. So he lingered with resentment and whatever, what other negative feelings he had. When you entered high school, her priorities were other elsewhere. Damn. That's interesting. Ooh. Anytime they play this song, I'm already really enjoying it. Yeah, nope. On that note, you gotta die, buddy. Nope. Good man. Oh. You're the older brother of the family, so tell me why, Ichigo. I like it. Gotta protect the little ones. Right? That's what I'm saying. We could have had a conversation before, but now we gotta kill you. Knowing Orihime and how nice she is, good hearted, she's gonna wanna do that to protect Rukia, Tatsuki. And Ichigo. But no, we're not gonna let that happen. No matter how much she's grown up, she always has that hairpin. Oh, it does seem there is some semblance of his humanity still in there. But it's not enough. Yeah, go. Oh, I like these shots right now. Is that acid? Oh, hell no. Looks like a snake, either acid or venom. Oh, wow. She tanked that hit and is trying to use compassion to stop him that very much seems like jjk like if someone were to do that especially to a loved one they would definitely linger on as a curse that gives me straight up yuta vibes interesting wasn't able to pass on and rest in peace because of that. Is that what happened? Oh, this is getting in depth. It's less of a you being lonely and it's more of a she's finally allowing you to go on. She can do it on her own, you know? She didn't realize that that would make you lonely. makes the concept of hollows much more deep you know he's yeah because he's fighting the hollow inside of him i had no a idea they had still aspects of their humanity you know whoever is the higher up wants to eat ichigo's soul you got to see a glimpse of him he was able to fully seems fully fight it Chain of Fate. I like that name. As long as it's connected, she will not die. Okay. Okay. I need to remember all these terms. There's so much world building in terms that I'm getting right now. He thinks back to that hairpin. So even though she physically is not praying for you every day, she will still have a piece of you with her no matter what, always and... I've heard this song before. I got goosebumps right now. This is like the sadness and sorrow of the show. He gives him back the sword, or is he gonna kill himself? While I still have a semblance of sanity. Shout out SOS bros. 
This is getting way more in depth and, and deep than I would have imagined. Let him pass on. Doing it for not only his sake, but for Hime's. Is that true? Really? There's still some upside. Mm. Leaving on a fight like that would suck. A little argument. The music in the show is beautiful so far. This is in no way what I was expecting this episode or this show to, to have. This is very emotional. This is very well done. And just the way it's animated as well. Wow. I didn't like you for the majority of the times you were in here, but I gotta give an R.I.P. to Orihime's brother. That was deep, man. I wonder if Rukia was able to actually manipulate her memories. Or is does she still remember everything that happened? Or it's like Men in Black. Memory replacement. Interesting. Same thing like the truck going through Ichigo's house. Still hasn't made up his mind about whether he wants to do this, you know. I respect that, that self-awareness, you know. He's like, I'm not such an amazingly good-hearted person, you know. But on the other side, he's also not a total slime who'd watch someone get hurt before his eyes. He's right fine balance, you know. Wow. That was definitely my favorite episode so far. I did not know I would have such an emotional attachment already. Like, that was... That was, and we're only on episode three of the show. How did I not watch this? All right, this is the last episode of this session. This is episode four. A cursed parakeet. Speak of the devil. There's that boy Chad. Oh, I saw a little waviness in there. I don't think it's the parakeet that's cursed. I think it's something else that's cursed. That's, that's crazy. That could easily kill multiple people. In order to fill the emptiness of our existence, we will continue to eat. We must continue to devour. Fuck no. I don't like the way you're talking about my soul, buddy. So it's sort of like Demon Slayer. Or eating humans is, you know, crazy delicious. Did my man just tank a fucking iron bar? He's bleeding, but what the? F he should be beyond dead. Yuichi Shibata. Sado. So his name's not actually Chad? Is Chad just his nickname? They just literally call him a Chad because he's a Chad? I'm still... Okay, I need to learn more about Kido incantations. Is Rukia going to get her powers back? Is, is Ichigo going to lose his powers when she gets them back? How long? You know... She's having a juice box. She knows about demon incantations, but doesn't know how to drink a juice box. That's hilarious. She is so funny. He <laughs> looks like a dork, but he's a real flirt. Hey, my man's got the game. I'm only interested in older. I like Mui Zero. He's, I already forgot his name. Mizuiro. Oh, that is a good point. She is very old. 
Ichigo alert here, here. <laughs> Everyone's got a game on the new hot girl, you know? This garden of masculinity. There's certain social aspects I miss about high school. This is hilarious. If you need something, come to me. Yeah, can you tell me where to punch this juice box hole? Our chat is huge. A steel beam fell on my head. Sir, that should be the other way around. The face Ichigo and Rukia made instantly makes me a little worried. Obviously, we saw something knock down that steel beam. But it's not evil. A lonely spirit. Inhabiting a bird. That would be beneficial. Let it go on to the other side. Okay, two years ago? Because they're 10th grade, right? Most people have black hair, but his orange definitely stood out. With fucking clover brass knuckles? God damn! What the fucking bricks? I love when they play the song. Genuinely will never get tired of it. My man is literal Iron Man, like his skin. He's a definition of a tank. The guy punching is gonna get tired before Chad feels a thing. Thoroughly enjoying this so far, I won't lie to you. <laughs> Chad needs to be in Vinland Saga. I have no enemies. Chad, who needs medical attention. Still has the parakeet with him. And we know Karin can uh, see ghosts just like Ichigo. Yuzu can, what, detect their presence, right? That's the bruise on his back? Oh, hell no. A burn? That's a horrible injury. Heck no, buddy. Sit your butt down. He's gonna fucking pass out. Blood loss. I felt it, even in here. I like how so far every episode we're fighting a different hollow. Like there's some action in every episode with good character development and emotionalness behind all that. Like it's not like it's one or the other. So far it's been a great blend. Like I'm saying, I don't understand how I did not watch this as a child. You could tell something was definitely fucked up about that parakeet. I wonder what she was able to detect that Ichigo couldn't. Just seeing that parakeet definitely fucked her up. Any self enter Soul Reaper mode now? Does it need Rukia to knock him into it again? What's he doing? What is my man doing? I need to apologize. Bro, this parakeet is messing me up. Like, it's having whole conversations. Is 
Now I need to get hold Chad's backstory. We got Orihime's with her brother and all that, and why she's targeted. Why is Chad being targeted? Why is he so nonchalant about being attacked? Why he's just such a chill dude. Chill Chad. What is Ichigo doing? What does Karin need to tell him? Oh, he's on soul detection mode. He can pull on, like, the threads? I like the way they animated it, but I need to know more. Spirit ribbons. Visible rays of spiritual energy. The high-level soul reapers, huh? Oh! And he was able to tell which ribbon was specifically the parakeets. I kind of like that concept. Yep, I can see the in hollow there. I like his commitment to protecting this parakeet. Now Karin's here as well. Don't play risky. I like them as a tag team so far. Rukia and Ichigo. Now, what did Kari need to tell him? Memories of the spirit. Okay. What is the strongest memory? Oh, that's horribly sad. Save him. So, I mean, they did say that spirit is weak but lonely, you know? That's why it inhabited the bird. And if it's your, sister, if it's your little sister asking this, you know Big Brother's going to have to do it. Have an R and D department at the Soul Society. See, I need to I need to learn more about them. Let me devour that soul. Hell no. Good agility. I like how a lot of the hollows we've seen so far have that hollowed out chest where your heart would be, you know? Catch an upper knee. Uppercut knee. She's, she's doing keto. Okay. Sort of a non-risky safe way to attack him, you know? But it definitely did not do enough. I want to know about this child story. I want to know Chad's story, this child story. He's going to go help her out. That is a very dangerous situation. He's trying to help Rukia by fighting something he can't even see. Yours is so weak. She needs her power back. Two different soul reapers. I want to know how many soul reapers there are in total, you know? Actually went to school and stuff like that. Like, we have hundreds, tens. Yeah, I don't know about that one, buddy. I don't know if that's gonna uh, happen. I like that. I gotta help this boy out. Oh, to be continued. Okay. Um, these episodes were fantastic. Thoroughly enjoying this so far. I really enjoy Ichigo as more of your not caring what people think, standing on business kind of character. Rukia is a very interesting side character as well. I am enjoying the aspect that she let us borrow her power in order to work while she was injured, but not realizing how strong Ichigo was, he was able to take all of it. 
So she's here giving us world building, still building up her power, being undercover in the Gigai. And I like that concept. Like there's a lot of aspects that I like of this, whether it's the soul society, whether it's the helping souls pass on, you know, with the, the hilt of their sword, um, whether it's a soul can kind of stay and be a hollow, whether it's lingering on negative emotions that it might've had during its life, or if it's devoured by a hollow, and some of these hollows really want soul reapers, especially Ichigo's. But overall, thoroughly am enjoying the characters, insanely enjoying the music. The pacing so far is phenomenal with these fights and introducing new characters while having the development for them, their backstory while including some fights. So in, in terms of all aspects, I'm, I'm already hooked and invested. I need to know more world building. I like the concept of Kido, the incantations, the soul society, the Shinigami realm, whatever that may be, you know, I, I want to see more characters. I know there's a lot more characters in this show. Eventually, I want to know more about the soul society. I'm, I'm in there. I'm hooked. So like I said, I know I would have loved this as a kid, but I am somewhat glad I'm watching this as an adult because I can just digest the more complexities behind the show um kubo you're on you're on you're a good mangaka i need to uh read the manga alongside the show though as well just so i can kind of compare and contrast though um hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon for super early access as well as full length all that jazz like i said we're always live on twitch watching these so come on over leave a there you go leave a follow it's always a vibe um don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them you never know when they might turn into a hollow I appreciate you, Dapper Squad. Have a great day.